In this question, we will do arithmetic operations on polynomials. They have asked us to multiply this polynomial. Looking at this a minus phi the whole square, it's a, plus, a minus b the whole square identity. So it's square of a. This is a squared, but there are two terms. And yes, 25 is correct, but it should be plus 25. So option a is the correct answer. What about the middle term? It will be minus 2 times a and b. That is minus 2 times phi is minus 10 a. So option A is correct. But what if you want to do a calculator method? No need of any formulas or anything. So now I'll show you that shortcut method and calculator. This is time consuming. See, this is a simple identity, but it'll take more time if you do it in calculator. So now what you need to do is you need to assume a value for this particular number A. What I mean is instead of A, you uh, don't think you can just put by alpha x. No, that doesn't make sense as well. You need to assign a numerical value. Don't choose phi. Why? Because if you choose phi, phi minus phi is 0, 0 squared. It's not going to help you. Choose anything by avoiding the value 0, avoid the value 1, avoid negative numbers, and avoid whatever makes it 0. So the conditions are for this shortcut calculator method, any positive number more than 1. So you can choose anything greater than 1. But don't choose the value which will make the equation 0. See, phi is greater than 1, but phi minus phi is 0, isn't it? So 0 squared, this doesn't help you. It might come correct over here, but sometimes you will get wrong if it's a complex equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose 2. I usually choose 2 most of the time. So here it's 2 minus phi the whole squared. So what is the answer I'm getting? It's 9. So here at a equals 2, the answer is 9. So you need to look into all the four options and solve it up. And whichever gives you 9 when a is 2 is your correct answer. So let me choose this. 2 squared because a is 2. Don't change the value throughout this, all the options. A will remain 2. 2 squared minus 25. Is this giving 9? No, it's wrong. Even if you choose the B and D, you will get some other value. Let me do the B value over here. So it's minus 2 squared because A value is 2 plus 10 times 2 minus 25. Minus 9. But no, I need plus 9. So let me try this. Here it is A squared. That's 2 squared minus 10 times 2 plus 25 whether it's 9 yes this is the correct answer and just to prove it this will also be wrong i'll just put it as 5 times 2 a squared minus 5 times 2 minus 25 look at the answer it's minus 15 so only one correct answer that was option a similarly you can try it for any other value now you might be thinking what can i do for such big ones doesn't matter. It will work everywhere. You can multiply this. It's easy to multiply, but the calculator method will work. It's just that I'm going to choose plenty of values. Say I'm just going to choose A as 2, B as 3, there's only AB, X as 4, and Y as 5. You can even change, choose 2.5, 3.5, but to, you know, to make your typing easy, I'm just going to choose whole numbers. A is 2, B is 3, X is 4, and Y is 5. Now, you need to use your calculator. It depends how quickly you are in your calculator. You need to solve the question and then try which matches the correct answer. First, let's try the question out. It's A is 2 plus 3. Okay, open up the bracket. It is 2 times A is 2 again, plus 3 times B is 3. And then we have 2 times x, that is 4, minus y, that is 5. It's 195. So add these particular values, the answer would be 195. So which of the option gives you the same answer is your correct answer. No other option can give you the same answer. That means the intact question would be wrong if there are two answers. So let's try it. 8 times 2 squared times phi so there are also ways you can eliminate some of the options but th then you need to know the multiplication and everything but basic things but i'm just gonna stick to the calculator method directly 
So A is 2. So I just substitute A as 2 because I've used it in the question. Same values remain. And X is, sorry, not 5, it's 4. Minus 2 squared times 5 plus 5 times 2 times 3 times 4 minus 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 plus 3 squared times 4 minus 6 times B is 3 squared times 5. It's minus 162. So that's not the correct answer. You need to try another one. And you need to try until you get the correct answer. So now I'm not going to do it for all. But what I'll do is, I think so it's option C. Why? Because there are two A. So it should be A squared. So now you can just deduce a few things. A, A, it'll be A squared. Yeah, there's no A squared. So wrong. This is A cubed. You don't get A cubed. So if it's not this, it should be option C. You will have B squared. Yes, there is B squared. And then you will have all these here. So I'll just do it for the last one. It is a squared x, that's 4a squared x minus 2 times a squared is 2 squared times y plus 10 times a times b times x minus 5 times, that's not 2, it should be 5 times a, B, and Y, that's correct, plus over here will be 6. 6 times B squared times X minus, this is not 6, it's 3. B squared and Y, okay, this should be 195. Yes, this is the correct answer. So what deduction I did is, I know there's two terms having A, A, so it should be A squared. B, B, B must be B squared and then you can see this or what you can do is you can focus on few terms and get those multiplied and then that should match in the sense I'll multiply this it'll be 2 times A squared and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this term with over here first time it'll be 2 times 4 times A squared X so you should see this, but that will be a problem because it'll be one more term over here. You know, two options have the same term. Then you should try another term, another term. So that's the thing. Whichever method you find easy, stick to that. The calculator method will definitely work. You need to assume properly and then stick to that assumptions. So option C is the correct answer here. What about these ones? You need to have the options with you and then you can easily solve it up. Let me do with this one. P n p and z so you need to assume what is n value i'll take it as 2 p is 3 z is 4 so now here 3 times see, p value is 3 again open the bracket n is 2 times p is 3 minus z value is 4 so it's 18. Now even the final answer must be 18. That is here 2 times 3 squared minus 3 times P is again 3 times 4. It is 18. It should be 18. Only one correct answer. So that's the thing. Please do try the other problems by yourselves. They're pretty straightforward. Also, you know, such problems you don't need to stick to calculator because just multiply this. It'll be 2x power 3 plus 9x power 2. Done. That's it. It's pretty simple and easy. Same way, here you can use the identity over here as well. I mean, over here you need to do FOIL method. Multiply this, 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 and you'll get the answer. But since it's the electronic part, I'm sticking with the calculator and shortcuts. Now this one as well. So instead of all this, what you can do is assume x as 2 and y as 3. And then solve this, you'll get a value. Whichever options will match, that'll be the correct answer. Same thing over here, we just did this type. And these two are the answers. Please do solve them by yourselves and then check for the answers. That is the end of this question. 
I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.